The pandemic changed absolutely everything about the way that we work. Our patients are all high risk, so many of them don't feel comfortable leaving the house, which means we had to very quickly completely change the way that we deliver care and find a way for nurses and patients to access and protect themselves at the same time. In terms of fundraising, we expect to lose about one million this year, and that's purely because of our events, our shops, and our community support groups effectively have been cancelled since this time last year. And we have been effectively trying to deliver an emergency response while at the same time having to adapt and change almost everything about the way that we support the community and the way that we care for patients from now going forwards. And it's an absolute pleasure to be able to... Uh... It all helps. That's really, a, you know, a 24-hour period in the hospice in Exeter to stay on the unit is just £600, just sort of over or under. And I think, you know, when you think you can have like two days care in the hospice and the professionalism and the compassion that goes behind the nurses and how they take care, it's not just the families, you know, this, the staff in the canteen make sure that the families are being looked after. They make sure it's a holistic care package, not just the clinical care package. Um, there's a great community feel in uh, Mid Devon. There are a lot of people that support us at Pine Lodge and really do have pulled, pulled it out of the bag really to support us during this last year. Um, we've had some fantastic support from the local stores in Tiverton and also one of our um, previous supporters who also had a, a, a quiz in a pub has continued to do that with fundraising through quizzes um, and all of this has really been helped with the support from the community and that includes obviously this fab donation from the Masons. We're not just about beds and doctors and medicines, it's about making every day the best day possible for our patients and their loved ones, about providing that care and support which means those last days can be remembered with some happiness as well as the inevitable sadness. Oh, we've, um, we've always been very supportive of all the hospices in the Devonshire area. Uh, we've made it our effort throughout the years to su support to the best of our ability um, because we consider that they are the ones who are doing something for the community. Uh, and that's where our drive has always been, to support our community to the best of our ability. The Sonic Charitable Foundation, I have great pleasure in presenting you with this cheque for £1,000 as part of our efforts of helping the hospices in this country. With this cheque for £1,545. Marvellous, thank for you the so much. Children's great. Hospice, South West, a little bridge house. We have a, a maximum of, of four families in at any time, nursing them in, within their bubble so that they don't mix and feel really safe and secure. But it does offer them the, the opportunity to, to visit Little Bridge House um, and get that resilience stay, to recharge their batteries so that they can go home and do it all again and care for the children that they love so much. Thank you very much for all the wonderful work you do here, and especially in the last year, which must have been very difficult. And we hope this will go some ways to help you in your fundraising efforts. And a huge thank you to the Freemasons for this grant. It means that we can continue caring for our patients and their families round the clock and that they get the love, care and support that they so desperately deserve. On behalf of Demsha Freemasons and the MCF, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this cheque for £1,600 and to say thank you for all the work you do for the community and for many people in Plymouth. St Luke's is one of our most supported hospices and charities. It's very close to the Freemasons of Demsha. We all know somebody who's sadly passed away here and they provide a wonderful service and comfort to both the patients and the families. We've supported them for many years and I only see that continuing. This certificate today, along with our charity student, uh, Stuart Ruben Ayres, uh, to, on behalf of the MCF and all the Masons in Devonshire, um, to the hospice for the excellent work that you do. Thank you.